Hey guys, I'm Logan Thomas. This is my first and only class for this mini semester at Lone Star. I'm currently enrolled as a full-time student at Texas State University, but I'm not taking any summer classes through them, um, just this one class, just to get it out of the way as a prerequisite because it's faster and cheaper to do it here. Uh, during my free time when I'm not doing school, which is what I like to be doing is having free time is shopping. Shopping and shopping. I really like to shop. It's my favorite thing to do. And I also have a dog. He is... Or he takes up a lot of my free time. But that's okay. He's he's fun and he's a lot cheaper to hang out with than going shopping 24-7. Back to the communications part of this. I feel like I've gotten most of my communication skills from my parents. And also being just, not even being taught it, but like learning it, I don't know another word, but like learning it from my peers and my teachers and just the people that you've been around since you started walking pretty much. Well, since you started talking, I guess it would make more sense. And I also feel like a huge part of my communication skills come from being in competitive cheer for the last seven years of my life. And almost every day, I've been, almost every day of those seven years, I was around amazing communicators and we're all screaming, even though it's, even though it's in like, you're screaming your counts and your numbers, you're still communicating with each other because that's how cheerleaders communicate is by saying like those command words and those numbers types of noises that influence my communication i really would say there's not too many noises that would influence other than i guess like supportive communication which makes me like more excited to do something or like hyped up about it like being in cheer again, like when you're on that stage and you hear like your parents cheering, like that just gets you going and that makes you just more excited. And so that's the type of communication skills I think affect me is like the negative and the positive. Because I mean, if people were booing me, I think that would affect me as well. I also feel like I do have that professional side of communication as well even though that may not be my strength it's just because I'm used to more of like a non-formal um style of communication but I do have that professional level of it too of communication too because I currently work for the athletic department here at Texas State and I'm always having to talk to coaches or um, even like media guys, ESPN Plus, we are covered by them. So I have um, skills in communicating with them as well in a more professional, not like a, hey, what's up, dude? Like, you know, so I have, I think I have those skills too. They might not be my strengths again, but they're definitely not a weakness. I can do it when I'm told to do it, but I'd rather just be talking to my friends. I do feel like I'm kind of right in the middle on the media lean and the media rich scale.